Today we have Chamber and that's where we talk about the legal aspects of some issues hitting hard at home. But you know, the story today is a very interesting one because I'm sure you have heard this and you may have some concerns. So a Christian or a Muslim living in a predominantly religious environment has people who make a lot of noise religious reasons be it the church making noise with their drums or loudspeakers or be it the muslims making noise when they have their call to prayer what is the legal redress anyone facing the situation can seek joining me in studio i've got justice abdullah he's a legal practitioner and he'll be touching on this very important topic good morning justice good morning how are you doing i'm very well so i have personally had you know these encounters where i thought as a christian I thought Christians were making too much noise in a particular residential area and the noise limits, I mean, they were exceeding what I thought was acceptable noise limits. A concerned citizen is saying that he lives in a residential area and he's living in his home that he built himself. And so relocating is not the option. The house next to him, which previously was a residential home, has now been turned into a church. In the same community, he's got Muslims who would wake up and, you know, for the call of prayer, which happens ab about five times a day, are disturbing what redress does this person have legally? He wants to report to the assembly, but he's sure if he goes, he will be asked to write a statement giving proof of what he's asking for. How do you go about this nuisance? Um, indeed, you're, you're right and you're on point on this matter. Um, it is indeed a nuisance, it is. unfortunately. Um, and I think, um, without even having to say much, the churches are now regulating this in a better way by okay. installing soundproof systems in yeah. in the various churches okay. but that is not the solution mm. um if you live in a certain environment your first mandate is indeed to report to the assembly okay. um and you don't need to feel shy of it in fact um the few cases of such nature that have been to court um were such that you know how christians in particular the moment you start complaining, they will start calling you names, mm -hmm. antichrist, um, witch. I mean, I've got all kinds of names right. that would naturally compel you never to even take any step against them. Mm. But the truth is, churches are not supposed to be cited within particular areas mm. unless they have been rezoned. Okay. And so if there is no rezoning and somebody's building a church or even a mosque in your area, you have to stand up. You have to fight against that, regardless okay. of whatever your religious denomination or religious affiliation may be. Justice, I don't want to forget this point you're making, but when you talk about the rezoning, how would I, an ordinary citizen, know that a particular church being cited in my area is allowed or not? Exactly, which is why you have to be very close to your assembly. Okay. I mean, the moment you find that indeed a church is being or a mosque is being cited close to your building, that's the first requirement. You okay. have to talk, you have to start making noise, you have right. to go to the assembly, mm -hmm. find out whether that place has been rezoned to be used as a church okay. premises. Right. And church here being used in, a, I mean, to describe both mo a mosque and, and regular church as right. in a Christian church. So that's the first requirement that you need to do. Okay. Now, once you do that, um, if they have not been, if the area has not been rezoned, mm -hmm. clearly the assembly will step in mm -hmm. to stop them. Unfortunately, most of the times, once the assembly comes in, they probably, I mean, upon payment of some few fees, they will just rezone the place for them and all of that. Unfortunately, this is what happens every, on a daily basis. But if it is done, well, it, the sighting of the church itself may not be a problem as much as the other things that will come afterwards, mm. and which include the noise, the parking spaces, yeah. the littering of the environment, amongst others. Now, those are the things that you should be looking out for. You should be ensuring that the noise levels are within the permissible noise activities within the area. Right. And so, and normally, I mean, a reasonable noise should be taken into consideration from the perspective of the person that is being disturbed and not from the church. Right. So it's not of the course. church that determines whether or not they are making noise reasonable noise. <laughs> you have to determine. Okay. And the determination is done on, I mean, all you need to do is just contact the EPA. Okay. They'll bring their instrument to your house or wherever you are. They will take the measurement from your house if indeed your com your complaint is legitimate. Mm. When they take the measurement, it will determine whether or not it is within um, the permissible activities. Because right. really, noise during the day is different from the noise during At the night. night. Um, I think there are a difference of about ten um, decibels between right. the two. And so, depending on what time of night or day that these levels are being taken, it will determine by all means as to whether or not they are making excessive noise mm. or it is within a reasonable limit. Now. Even before the church gets um, um, a permit to build, mm -hmm. all these regulations would have been spelled out to them. 
And so they already know that they are supposed to act within a particular level of noise making. Right. And so once they go beyond that, now unfortunately you have to write, as you were saying earlier, if you cannot write, get someone else to write because these are the evidences that you, you can use to pursue your legitimate course of action okay. against the church or the mosque making excessive noise in your area. Right. Without these writings, you don't have any evidence. You just be going to court or wherever you go mm. making noise and there will be no evidence to support your claim okay. that indeed you are making noise. And of course, noise does not last forever for anyone right. to come and say that, oh, oh yeah, when we came there yesterday, indeed, the noise level of yesterday was still existing. Mm. Nothing. It cannot be identified. Mm. And if you complain and they say that, well, I didn't make much noise. I mean, there's no means of knowing whether indeed they made this noise or not. Oh, no. So which is why you need to contact your assembly. You need to also be working, I mean, be working with the EPA. Indeed, once you get the assembly, the assembly would always write to them. Okay. Would always write to the particular church or mosque, um, advising them to reduce their no noise levels or even come for a permit okay. um, for, for that purpose. Usually, they might, there would always be other months, they may not go. Or, um, and most of the time, the assemblies prosecute them. Okay. But unfortunately, we are such that most of the time you don't want to be known to be the complainant in these exactly. matters. So that the area guys do not see you in a bad light. Well, that's the cultural problem. And, and that has to be overcome. Okay. Somebody has to stand up. <laughs> Somebody has to really um, make that noise and ensure that these people are brought to book. But Justice, why is it that in our system we even have to get to that point? Like you said, where you would go and complain and probably someone will pay somebody off so that their place is rezoned and allowed. Why does it fall on the citizen to have to take that responsibility if there are laws and regulations that have to be followed? We just have to follow it. Isn't it as simple as that? It is indeed as simple as that, except that we live in a country with... Um, we live in a country where everything is bad. Let, let's just put it a nice way. Right. Things are just bad. Yeah. Systematic failure. Mm. And so, unfortunately, if you do not push for it, make a step, right. the appropriate officers will not do what they need to do. In fact, sometimes even after doing what is required of you as a citizen, not a spectator, mm. you are still confronted with a huge wall of the, the appropriate officers mm. rather making you look like you are the bad one. Unfortunately, this is what yeah. happens. You, I mean, just walk into an accident scene mm. and volunteer to even take some of the victims to the hospital. Mm. And it will look like you are the one that right. actually caused the accident. Yeah. You are treated like a criminal. Mm. And so, really, unfortunately, these are, these are the systematic failures that we, we, we find ourselves in in that part of the world. Mm. But that is what we have. We just have to make it better for so ourselves. To instill confidence in, you know, people who are asking these questions, how many of such cases actually see the light of day in the sense that you go, you report, the assembly takes over, and these churches or mosques are asked to actually relocate because they are not in the appropriate zone? I have to be honest. I mean, there are indeed a lot of prosecution going on. Okay. I mean, that goes on when the complaints are legitimately made. Right. Um, the difficulty, rather, is with the victims of these noise we are rather the ones who do not take up these matters okay and notwithstanding the fact that the, the appropriate authorities also put a lot of stumbling block in your way but if you complain and i complain and the other guy complain everything starts with one right a lot of things will be done right mm. with this respect in my area we have similar stories there are a lot of people open clubs and beer bar food joints and then, of course, as for the churches, it, is, it looks like every, every single house has. has to be a church. Mm. I mean, literally. And so, whereas these beer bar guys are making so much noise, the churches are also they are like their com competition of noise. And if you live on top of wherever you are, the noise comes to you directly right. as against those who live Down. below. Because they're shielded by the wall. God bless you. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so, you feel it so much yeah. that, and, and unfortunately, I mean, this idea of, in fact, there is a story of, I mean, this woman having to lodge a complaint. She literally could not even live in her house wow. and with her twins. Hmm. And so, I mean, her twin grandchildren. So hmm. they always have to move out. And they moved into this area because the, where they used to live, it was more noisy in Osu. And so they had to move out. To, Only to meet a similar In fact, it was actually worse. But when they moved there, in fact, the story was much better okay. until other churches started Came moving in. in. And then the whole thing got money. Unfortunately, this is what happens. You need a person who is strong-willed right. to pursue this matter, right. like this woman. She mm -hmm. pursued it all the way to the, in fact, from the district court, from the assembly, actually, to a district court, 
to even the church itself. But he wow. started from the church. And they called her all the names. She wouldn't bother. Hmm. They, I mean, would always rain insults on her and all of that. But she was still persistent. She pursued hmm. it until the matter finally. But she had to pay to go to the high court hmm. to ensure that justice was delivered in her favor. Nice. Now the place is much better. Great. Now imagine, this is one person. One person made that She has to take that battle. Hmm. Notwithstanding all the name calling, notwithstanding all the other things, but now go to the area and, and everybody's quiet enjoying and peaceful. it. Peaceful. Everybody's enjoying it. Well, you need such persons to make sure it happens. Unfortunately, and she's a Christian. She's not a Muslim mm. fighting a church. Most of the time, this is what happens. But <laughs> these are the kind of people we need okay. to build a better Ghana. Indeed, and on that note, let me say thank you to you, Justice Abdullah. He is a legal practitioner. We have been discussing the religion and the law and the noise making and the fact that I think if it takes a strong willed citizen to make sure that that you know haphazard thing people are doing the noise making the nuisance is stopped if you complain i complain everyone else complains we certainly will get redressed for that there is hope go to the assembly lodge a complaint and make sure you see the end of the matter